Hi everyone, I'm Cinder 9 and welcome back to Let's Play Jade Cocoon Blind. <clears throat> Feeling better now. <laughs> so let's take a look at our new base of operations. I am Ra. As a Nogi maiden, I shall serve the Chosen One of Light. I hope my Nagi magic will be of service to you. Oh, I see you have some firefly cocoons. Let's begin by purifying them. Our enemy we love, and for the tormented we pray. Grant us the beast of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. I just wanted to hear uh, <clears throat> Ra say it because to see if it if it was a uh, different. Than, than Mabu, and it was. You could tell there was more echoing. I don't know if it's just the, or if it's supposed to be the chamber that we're in, or if she just has more experience and more power. I don't know, but that was it was it was nice that it wasn't just uh, it, it, that it felt recycled. <laughs> okay, now let's see. We have. Who were you? Oh, yeah, okay. What do you know? Oh. No. I can't do it here. That's fine. If we merge these two together, plus one attack, minus two magic attack, minus one magic defense, minus mana, uh, plus HP. No additional magic, it looks like. Okay, let's not do that. Um, what if... Oh, no. no. We need to go back. There we go. Let's merge these two together. See what it looks like. Plus one level, a lot of HP, minus four MP, plus two speed... It'd be a water and earth mix. Now, what if we merge the two earth ones together? Uh, plus 27 HP, plus 3 mana, plus... And it becomes more balanced of attack and defense instead of just a lot of attack. Plus one to all stats but speed. No additional uh, magic or anything like that. What do you look like? It's interesting. I really like the way it looks now. <laughs> What else did we get? Embla. Oh yeah, the tree thingy. Hmm. Let's make you more... How would that work out? Okay, so now you can see that the there's just a little bit of fire and much more air. Interesting. No, but what we are gonna do is spend some silk so we have some money. Let's um spin you. No, ah, uh, that's right. You can't you can't look at them after you select one, which is a little weird. But you, you. Um, 
sure. Spin those. Shall they ever know good fortune? Those who fight for what is right, never shall they return to Elrond. Oh, if we but only ask, grant us our daily bread. I don't remember that first part. <laughs> something she throws in there thank you so rearrange there we go let me know bye interesting enough I suppose the the merge system is something I don't I'm not doing a lot of but that's just for uh, time sake I I am the Noggy Maiden who serves the Chosen One of Light. Because about the last thing you want is to see me sitting here for half an hour. <laughs> just that, that being a complete episode is just merging different things. It's really cool. And if you get the chance to play Jade Cocoon, that you definitely take the time to mess around with the merge system. Because uh, that's... Please tell me if you need anything for your journey. Because that's definitely a a strong point uh, for this game, in my opinion. We have weapon-wise. Knife, dagger, we've seen those. Blue phantom. Of course you're ridiculously expensive. Uh, mini blue snooze. Sinews run about its blade. Provides awesome cutting power. Obviously, a little less speed. But, uh, more attack power. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. A lot of attack power. Even more speed. Of course, the cost is ridiculous. Samurai sword. I think that's the first samurai sword we've seen. Next, it's been long sword. A large curved blade distinctly forged. Distinctively forged with spectacular blossom patterns. Oh yeah, that sounds awesome. That's all she's got. The 80,000 I think will be the tough part. <laughs> Armor-wise, Nagi Garb. Woven, woven from white cocoon silk. Uh, more defense. More match defense. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, navy blue garb, roving from the high grade white cocoon silk. Forest garb, woven of the highest quality white cocoon silk. And that's it. So, a little less speed, but the forest garb is pretty good. Otherwise, sparrow rough, boost heart and mind. A lot of speed, which is nice. The silver crown, which we have equipped. Made of holly leaves. Thorny, but provides protection from magic. Hence the additional magic defense. Okay. And that's all we have here, so... Let's sell... That's weird. Oh, ask about supplies. Yeah, here we go. So, you gotta go to the right menu now. It's not all under... Well, because she's acting as the blacksmith or the shop, the supply is gonna act like the item shop. So, that's where you'll sell, sell your silk. One thunder silk. Six lily silk. Not bad. Mugwort, Meta Mugwort, Bitter Mugwort. Which we have six of. I'm gonna buy a few more of these. Shab liquor. Excellent liquors are uh, being sold here. Let's grab a couple of those as well. 
Ring of Venom uh, releases poison mist when broken, instantly causes excruciating pain. So you can buy attack items here, which we've, we've seen, we've got a few from treasure chests, but here you can actually buy them. That's interesting. Let's get... This will, of course, put a... Uh, causes a deep slumber equal to that of the sleep spores. Ring of Death causes a death mist when broken. Instantly causes death by stopping the heart. Wow. And you just sell these. <laughs> uh, the Mirror of Deva. You're new. Change area properties. Charm blessed by Irve, the disciple of Earth. Changes area properties to the advantage of Earth. Huh. This, uh, area properties to water. Fire. Wind. The ground has properties? Like, the area has properties? Uh, I've not noticed that. So, is there, like, an earth terrain where earth monsters fight better than normal? Or do they not show up naturally and we have to use these to make the advantage? That's, that's interesting. Uh, seal... Attack single enemy with earth, all enemies with earth, water, fire, which we've gotten a couple of the fire ones, a lot of the wind ones. Sleep spores causes surrounding minions to fall asleep. Bet that we can use on the field. Because the, the ring of sleep would be in battle. That's interesting, so maybe you could walk past grab a couple of those and we'll call that good for now so you're heading for the beetle forests of the netherworld aren't you uh yep that's the plan huh it's not like you wanted to say something maybe we should keep an eye out in this beetle forest Okay, with all the shopping done, we'll save real quick. I do... I do like that you kind of have everything right here. Shop-wise. And Levant just ran through, uh, run, ran through space or something. <laughs> you saw the little light fixtures uh, kind of flow by him. Hi! Suave? Suave? You look like a three-headed, you know, wervern type monster. Well, you are fire. Water attack. Oh, good. Because I did want to capture you. We'll switch back to Levant. And let's listen to the uh, capture music. Even though it will be light. I do like the new outfit. I like that. That's pretty good. Special liquor, cool. And a lot of uh, capture level experience. <clears throat> this really looks like the Beetle Forest. <laughs> We're in the Beetle Forest of the Netherworld. 
But really, it looks just like the Beetle Forest. <laughs> just with a different color palette. Now, the minions are, of course, completely different. We haven't seen anything like this with three heads like that. So it's nice to see that that's pretty different. We've seen, as you can see, Radtron compared to it. Uh, compared to the, the Suave here. Uh, both have the wings, the same type of a... Uh, uh, of head kind of the same overall look but the uh, multiple head thing is completely different oh that's that's also a completely different looking move <laughs> all right time to get some exp bad. So it'll take about four of those fights to level up. Eh, it's okay, I guess. The... So something I don't think I've talked about that I've started to notice. The, uh... The EXP rate has greatly diminishing returns, and what that means is after a certain point the the exp you get sharply drops off it doesn't just drop off uh, if you think about rpgs you kill in uh if you're level one you kill an imp and you get a herdrudy exp maybe something like that and that levels you up that's great well at level two the imp may give less EXP. It gives, uh... Here we may have a water version. Yep. At level 2, you may get 67 EXP. So you kill a few and you level up. Then the imp only gives 50 EXP. So it, so it drops off as you level up. Here, there's a sharp decline. <laughs> if somebody... Like, uh... Flame Air was able to kill this monster, being level 10, that get a ton of EXP from the level 11 monster. But we saw Radtron's level 13 and didn't get, you know, but a fourth of a level. Whereas just the level before, it may have given half or maybe even like close to a full level. So you don't get near as much. Just something that that I've I've noticed. Earth attack. Now it's still really good to fight the minions because well, it's a different different attack. Because like I said, four fights would probably level up Radtron, which is good. That's not bad, but. Even just one more level, you're probably going to see that be practically nothing. It's just something to keep in mind. Those are just my observations anyway. Remember, blind. <laughs> blind uh, LP. Um, capture one of you. That spell was interesting. Level 13. Let's go this way. See what we can find. You know, there's a save point right here. I guess we should. Since we just captured that minion. <coughs> Okay. Hmm. I 
yeah, it's the same except just different minions. No, oh, come back. <laughs> You're new. Oh, wow. You've got a lot of HP. These underworld minions seem to be a, a big step up from from the minions we've seen before. Which makes sense. Like I said, it felt like getting to that Nagi village was like the halfway point in the game. That should be good. We captured you. Or you get to go hit Levant. Not bad. Anything else down here? <laughs> I I guess I I kind of like that it is just like the Beetle Forest, but but uh, you know j just different, a more a more gloomy feel, I guess, because it's supposed to be Netherworld thing. So I guess that makes sense, but. I don't know. Hopefully, there'll be maybe a few different paths. Cause while the while the minions are different, and that's nice. I'm I'm hoping the areas don't feel too similar. I think we have one skeleton key left. Because I've not been doing too great about finding skeleton keys. Uh, three of the Vari's Blessing, three of the Maltese Blessing, and one of the Hawkruff. All which I went over in town. Good. Those are nice. I at least like how these minions aren't uh, aggressive. So you can't just walk right by them if you want. This one does look aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> you look interesting enough. Air, huh? Okay. I, he's got really long ears. <laughs> so do you have... Okay. What the fire attack? She said it didn't do much. Okay, you see, that looks like he changed the, uh, the battlefield. A, a tutorial on this would have been really cool. I don't know why I did that, it was the wrong move. But a, uh, a tutorial on this would have been really cool. Because this, this adds a, oh wow, you're fast. Uh, this adds what could be a completely... Uh, a completely different dynamic. To the, to the fights. It just seems like you're just introducing, okay. <laughs> it seems like you're just introducing a completely new system without giving the player any any heads up about it. You know, what does it do? Does it uh, increase their evade, their strength, their defense? Does it 
grant them you know, extra evasion because it sure feels like that. <laughs> there we go, finally. It just... It's a neat concept, especially since it looks like some minions can just do it as an ability. A Retron levels up plus 3 mana, plus 29 uh, HP, plus 1 to all stats but magic attack. Good. Very good. I would have liked to have seen an explanation on, on this. Oh jeez, another one of you. You need to be merged again or something. <laughs> You're just not cutting it. And that was my problem with the whole uh, making a, a minion more than one element. Now again, it could just be the level difference. But it just feels like not getting enough attack power out of the, uh, out of the spells and the, uh, the elements. Because... In the descriptions, it says that they do more damage based on how much of the element you are. Well, because this minion is split, it doesn't get that damage of a full, like, fire minion. Now, I know the trade-off with that is you're more versatile. So, Flame Air here could take on both air minions, can take on both air minions, and earth minions because of that but I don't know it just I, there's a part of me that that says I'd be better off just not having a good answer to one of the sides but having a great answer to three of the of the four elements that's just me. Let's... No, no. Shaplicker. Let's rearrange this. <laughs> and restore some of your HP and mana. You, you didn't level either. You're not getting any EXP because you're not... That's something I need to remember. This isn't like Pokemon. <laughs> you don't get some EXP just because you fought. You have to get the killing blow. That minion has to get the killing blow or they don't get any, any EXP. Great. I should probably capture one because I may want to use it. If I see another one. <laughs> Hi. Okay. We can get our Earth Minion some EXP, which will be nice. Earth attack! There we go. I do like that attack. The, uh, the water... The water attack. I think it looks pretty cool. Goodbye. So I wonder how that attack is different from the ice-looking one we have. Because there's no ice element. And still draggling levels up. 31 HP, 2 mana, 1 attack, 1 defense, 1 speed. Not bad. Huh. Which path do we want to take first? Let's take the one underground. Oh, there's two of you pad dregs. 
Hmm, you look just like the other one we fought. But I, the air version, so I guess you're the fire version, huh? Okay. This works in our favor, because our strongest minion is water. <laughs> and we can use Volus to hit both. See how much we can do. Not bad. Not bad at all. The magic is not uh, Ratron's strong point. Remember that. Oh. Fire, huh? Let's see if that weakens the magic. So it should do around 80. Kind of still did around 80. Maybe it makes their attacks better. That's what I'm going to assume. Yeah, because that did sting more than I think it might have. Okay. We'll take care of one of you and try to capture the other. Hi. Now. I actually have plans for you, so... <laughs> Okay. That one was resisted. Ow. Let's try again. Come on. Get in the cocoon. There we go. Much better. Right. Good. We're not going to go further that way, actually. Not yet. Let's head back. I'd like to get a... The wind version. If we can get it to show back up. may have to leave the forest completely. Ah, there we go. Good. Come here. Summon. Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> You're not gonna, nobody's going to get EXP out of this anyway. We just want to do damage. Water attack! We're gonna change the field. This probably, probably makes you very elusive. Good. gonna capture you there we go all right With that, I think we're going to head back to town for now. And that's how we'll end this episode. <laughs> so this will be our first look at uh, the... It's not even evil, the... This beetle forest.
Oh, maybe I have to use the hunter's earring to get out of here. Yes, leave the forest. Apparently, unless I missed it, there's no just walking back <laughs> like we used to be able to. So, whenever you're ready to leave, just use the hunter's earring. Might as well. Don't know why I don't do that more often. <laughs> it's not like we've run out of charges or anything. I hope my Maggie magic. Uh yes. Okay, everyone, let's do this. How does this work out? We merge you. Plus two attack, minus one defense, plus one magic attack, minus one magic defense, plus three speed, I like that. Plus two levels. 46 HP, five mana, fire attack, Fire attack. Agni and Agnes. No. View. Let's view. That's what I want. You have fire attack. You have Diva on you. Enhances fire. Increases fire attack power and decreases effectiveness of wind for duration of battle. Okay. And I guess you have the wind uh, fang wind attack. Multi increases wind attack power and decreases effectiveness of earth for duration of battle. So interesting. Now what if we merge you two together? Plus 20 HP, plus 2 mana, minus 1 defense, plus 1 magic attack, minus 1 magic defense, plus 1 speed, fire attack, wind attack. But they lose the magic. See, that's a shame, because that's really what I wanted to keep. No, don't merge them. Absorb HP. Take some of the damage inflicted on an enemy to restore this attacker's HP. Huh. That's interesting. I like that. Okay. What if... No, no, no. What if... You two merged. Plus 23 HP, plus 1 mana, plus 2 magic defense. Fire attack, absorb HP, and you keep that. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. What if we do it the other way around? That's interesting. Plus that, plus 3 mana. Stats kind of shape out <coughs> somewhat similar. Hmm. The other one has a little more magic defense at 25. This one has a little more magic attack. I like the way this one looks, so we're gonna go with this. Uh, yes. Oh, magic beast who doth serve us, merge thy bodies together and become of even greater power.
Okay. Um. I don't know. We're gonna call you just. For now. <laughs> uh, no. But let's equip different minions. There we go. Rearrange. And we'll just have no good counter for Earth minions. So be it. Um. I don't think there's anything I want to spin, really. No, we can get rid of you, I guess. No. Spin, spin. Spin. Spin those. Thank you. One more thing before we end this episode. And you. What does that look like? Ugh, I don't like the loss of attack and speed. I can say that much. And loss of HP. I'm not a fan of that. Break legs. Plus accuracy. That's what it looked like. I like the way it looks. I just don't like the, uh, the change in stats. Oh, you learned this. What's this? No, don't merge them. The other one must have it, so we can look at it. Break legs. Special attack. Makes it easier to kill two-legged enemies and slightly more difficult for them to score a hit. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Advanced water attack. Uh, extra damage versus fire, higher water element ratio yields more damage. So advanced water attack. Or this is just water attack. Huh. Now that's tempting. I would like to have have that. Lose attack, you gain more magic attack, which would make the magic effective. You become more of a magic based. Lose some speed, you gain some mana. The minus 30 HP just, just hurts a lot. No, I'm curious, what if we went the other way? But you have practically no attack. Yeah, you get a boost to everything, but it's still not that great because Redtron has all the all the uh, from the merging before still has a lot of attack and things like that. So, why not? Let's do this. Yes, we lose 30 HP. We gain 8 mana. Have one more defense. We'll lose some attack so the uh, water attack won't hit as hard. 
But hopefully the magic will make up for it. Let's... Let's give that a try. Yes. A magic... We're gonna call this a Rad Mage <laughs> because it's gonna be more mage-like. Hopefully, no, I think that'll do it. Range, and hopefully that'll work. We'll find out if I just completely screwed up or <laughs> if it'll help out. Hopefully the latter, <laughs> but. save here okay that's gonna do it for this episode I hope you like seeing the new minions in the somewhat new place <laughs> as it's just a recolor of the beetle forest which like I said makes sense but I do hope there's there's more more to it That way it doesn't feel... Uh, I can't quite put my finger on the word I want, but I do hope there's some some new new aspects to it. I do like the new minions. Uh, the look is really cool. It seems like they really, uh, really ex expanded on the base look of the minions in this place. More colors, uh, some some varied looks so that's nice as well to see but next time we'll continue exploring the uh beat the new beetle forest for this area so until then thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed had a lot of fun i'm cinder a9 remember to shoot for the stars and take care everyone